Our first inductee to the 2014 Maryville College Wall of Fame class is 1980 graduate Tim Toppin. Tim made the trek to the Highlands from Wytheville, Virginia after visiting his sister Terry, who attended Maryville College and graduated in 1976. Tim joined coach Jim Jordan's 1976 squad in the fall. Toppin excelled throughout his gridiron career at numerous positions including wide receiver, cornerback, and free safety while serving on every special teams unit. The Scots secured their best record in four years with a 7-2 mark after the 1975 squad finished 0-9 before Toppin arrived. A 17-9 victory over center and a last second 11-10 victory over Hampton Sydney gave Maryville College the confidence to roll through rivals Millsaps by the score of 12-6, Southwestern 17-0, and Guilford 28-10. Tim's sophomore campaign saw the defense pitch a trio of shutouts while finishing 6-2 on the season. A 21-16 season opening victory over the rival Wasps set the tone for the season, while Bridgewater Washington and Lee, and Bluefield never lit up the scoreboard. The Scots also took care of center 27-3 and Millsaps 17-10. The Jim Jordan era ended after Tim's second season and Steve Fickert would take over the program with a historic inaugural season. Maryville College has only produced five eight-win seasons in the program's 122 years of collegiate football. Coach Fickert with the help of Toppin and his teammates would equal that feat with an 8-1 record in the fall of 1978. Wins over Emory and Henry by the score of 17-6 and Bridgewater 13-6 kicked off the 78 season. Maryville College fell to Evansville 3-0 for the only loss of the season. Maryville promptly reeled off six consecutive wins to close out their historic season. During this campaign, the Scots outscored their opponents by an average margin of 19 points per game. The offense averaged 25 points per game, while Toppin's defense limited opponents to only six points a game with three additional defensive shutouts. Their efforts resulted in a top 10 national ranking within the Division III, Maribel College's first national ranking since joining the NCAA Division III in 1974. Following a record-setting season, Tim entered his senior season against NCAA Division II local rival Carson Newman. The Scots grounded the Eagles 15-7 in their 1979 season opener. Maryville College went 4-0 to begin the season with additional wins over Bridgewater 28-15, Emory and Henry 30-14, and Lane 17-9. The Scots lost back-to-back -back games for the first time in four seasons with a 10-7 loss to Central Florida and a 17-10 setback against Millsaps. The senior-laden squad was determined to finish as one of the most successful groups in program history and promptly concluded their career with three consecutive wins over Southwestern 29-6, Washington and Lee 55-21, and closed out their career with a 14-6 win over Center College. Playing with 10 additional Maryville College Wall of Fame inductees throughout his career, Tim Topham led the Scots football program to the most successful four-year period in their storied history. Between 1976 and 1979, Maryville College went 28-7, winning 80% of all their challenges on the gridiron. Upon graduation in 1980, Tim took a position with the Bank of Maryville. He has had a fairly straight career path and is currently the regional president of Mountain Commerce Bank, where he serves on the board. It is a $380 million bank serving Upper East Tennessee and the Knoxville area. Tim is married to the former Tracy Brakebill and they have one daughter, Sydney. Tim has served on the board of the Knoxville Habitat for Humanity while also serving Maryville College as the alumni board president. Tim is presently on the Maryville College Board of Directors. Relationships define Tim's highlights as a fighting Scot, from instructors like Dr. Bushing, Randy Lambert, and Edith Largen, to Coach Campbell and his wife, to his classmates and teammates that represent a very diverse group. Tim saw numerous value moments that Maryville College provided during his personal journey. He values to this day the experience of being a student athlete and learning life lessons on and off historic Honaker Field. 
Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the 107th football player in 122 years of collegiate football to be inducted into the Maryville College Wall of Fame. Help me congratulate Tim Toppin for this well-deserved honor.